Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset Microsoft Outlook back to factory settings. So if you just want to reset it back to default, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check on back a registry editor. Proceed to right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the H key current user folder. So double click on that. Double click on the software folder now. Double click on Microsoft. And now there should be an office folder. So go ahead and double click on that. And there should be a high number in here, so it's 16 in our case, and it might be slightly lower, it could be 15 or 14.0 in your case. But anyway, you should see Outlook listed in here. Double click on it. And now you want to select the Setup folder. On the right side, you want to right click and delete two values. The first one's going to be Create a Welcome. So right click on that and delete it. Select Yes. The other one's going to be First Run. Go ahead and delete that one as well. Right click on it and delete. Select yes, and now you will need to close out of here and then restart your computer for the change to take effect. And now if you go ahead and open up the search menu and type in Outlook, go ahead and open that up, you should be good to go. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do apologize I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.